everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video we are going to learn about the working principle of dc motors in the previous video we have learned about uh, the construction of dc machines in dc machines we have two types we have dc generators and dc motors and we have also learned how dc generators will work now let's see how dc motors will work so if you have understood the construction that means you have you have understood all the parts of the dc machine and if you have understood the working of dc generator then this is going to be very 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 easy for you okay so let's get into the video first of all what is the principle of dc motor i told in the previous video m e m dc motor will convert electrical energy into mechanical energy that means you give the electrical energy you will get the mechanical energy as an output you get the physical energy as an output mechanical energy and physical energy are not the same guys but for your understanding i'm telling you okay okay so let's see how it will work first of all once the dc motor construction is set up that means you have this all set up you have all the parts you have the uh, rotor part you have the poles you have the windings and you have everything next what you have to do is you will provide the current through the terminal box to the field windings and then the field windings will start producing magnetic field obviously we know that the field windings are metals they are conductors so they will obviously start producing the magnetic field so in the same way the power is supplied to the armature windings also we have field windings and we have armature windings right so for both you will uh produce the power give the power so once you give the power to the field windings these will also start producing another magnetic field so when two magnetic fields are there they will either attract or they will either ripple based on the poles if it is like poles what happens it will ripple right if it is opposite poles they will attract so based on the poles they will either attract or they will either ripple okay that is called as magnetic pull so because of this pull that means when when you know like let's say uh, these two are magnets if they attract they'll come like this if they repel they will go like this whatever it is motion is being done right whether they are getting attracted or whether they are repelling from each other the motion is being created right so this motion is nothing but what mechanical energy so because of this motion the rotor the armature will start rotating according to the fleming's left hand rule we already know what fleming's left hand rule is right so simple example very 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 simple example is electric scooters and you have fans in your laptop right whenever you overuse your laptop you'll get some weird sound from that that is a fan sound how that fan will start working based on this dc motor principle okay so the equation to calculate the um the uh, i mean the whatever force is on the conductor so the equation is b into i into l guys don't worry i'll explain you again the working of dc motor by showing the diagram okay don't worry f is force on the conductor b is the magnetic flux density which is produced by the field windings i is nothing but the current in the conductor and l is nothing but the length of the conductor okay so based on this equation f is equal to b into i into l you can basically calculate the force on the conductor okay so yeah actually that's all about the working principle of dc motor you have to elaborate it guys you have to elaborate it and for everything you have to draw this diagram either for construction or for working of dc generator or dc motor whatever it is for all the three questions you have to draw the same dc machine diagram only because there is no difference the, the same diagram is for generator and motor both the only difference is how they operate okay in in uh, in motor what will happen is this is the terminal box right so through this terminal box you will send some electricity to this field windings so because of this electricity the field windings are metals so metal and electricity both uh, so here some magnetic field will be generated in this area and you will also pass the current to the armature windings where we have armature windings here we have armature windings right through these holes we have the armature windings right so you will also pass some current through this armature windings you will also pass some current to this field windings so when you pass current to the, to this armature windings again here also some magnetic field will be generated 
here also some magnetic field will be generated so when two magnets are there what will happen there will be a magnetic pull either because of attraction or because of repulsion okay any which ways whether they are attracting or whether they are repulse uh, whether they are repelling definitely there will be some motion between both of them right so because of that this middle rotor will start rotating rotor or armature is same don't get confused okay why we are calling it as rotor because it is a rotating part okay so the rotor will start rotating rotation is nothing but what your mechanical energy so what you are giving to it you are giving electrical energy initially through the terminal box and as a result what you are getting mechanical energy that means electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy in dc motor okay so yeah uh, and application is the fans in your laptop in your laptop you have fans right so how that fan will work based on this dc motor itself so yeah that's all guys that's all for this video very 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 simple but if you ask me you are explaining uh, only a very little bit about this and you are asking us to write this for a very long answer in the exam if you ask me first you have to draw this diagram in this diagram you have to explain everything so i am telling you the current is coming inside okay how the current is coming inside how the current is being uh, like how, whatever mechanical energy whatever rotation is happening here how that is going outside how current is coming inside commutators and brushes will help you so that you can write that part you can write you can draw the diagram and you can write it you can write this uh, this equation okay so and this also i have written it in a very simple words but whatever i have explained you can write you can put everything on the paper okay so yeah this is all about um, the working principle of dc motor okay in the next video let's meet up with another topic and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer all your questions and if you have any video recommendations also let me know in the comment section i'll definitely uh, try to do those videos for you okay